Hey, do you guys remember those logs from the last video? Yeah, these, these right here. The ones that I spent so much time stripping the bark off of? Well, see, looks like I probably won't be able to use them. Or I could, but I kind of came to the realization it was going to take way, way too much effort to use those, and I was better off using some of the other pallet wood that I had. So I've, I've come up with a little bit different design than I originally had, but I still think it's going to be good. Just not going to be able to use those, so it kind of stinks to put that much work in to something that I'm just... I don't know, it's going to step out the side and I'll, I'll find something else to do with it, but it won't be this.
Welcome back everybody. Now that I've got all my, my pallet wood there, uh, today's task is to take that big stack and do the grunt work of turning it all into usable lumber, which is uh, nothing terribly exciting. It's just kind of part of the grind of using this kind of stuff for materials. So I'm going to get to it and uh, I'll record little bits here and there to show the progress, but it's, again, it, it's just putting in your reps, so to speak. Good morning everybody and welcome back to the Woodland Workshop work site. Um, just an update. Last time I was working, I was feeling that pallet kind of being a little, little flimsy underfoot, so I decided to replace that pallet top with another one. And the other thing was I decided that uh, looking at all these really stout pieces if uh, you're not familiar these pieces here are these uh, long pieces running uh, crossways of most of the uh, the boards on these pallets they're a little bit thicker in fact if you look over here um, I don't know how well that difference is showing up on the camera let me see if I can bring this guy over here you can see that it's it's pretty significant difference between the uh, this one and these and I in hindsight I'm not sure if I'm taking it apart or not but in hindsight I should have used this over here um, but one thing I was thinking is that I could really use some support right here in the middle you see on this pallet top you have those three boards well that has support and that has support and why don't I have support on that one I'm gonna be putting some fairly heavy stuff on this um, if nothing else, the, uh, the the weight of an entire toolbox concentrated onto the, the four casters, I could probably, um, probably need a little bit of support there. It would, it would certainly benefit from it. So today, I'm going to cut some of these to length, install them here down the middle, and then I can get on with uh, completing the rest of this floor and uh, start cutting my poles for the, uh, the tent frame. Check it out, check it out. All right, this is the, the Woodland Workshop update real quick. You can tell I've got the extra uh, supports down the middle. I've got the blocks along the side. Ended up putting those at two foot intervals, except for the back two, those are a little bit closer. And then the big blue tarp underneath is just gonna be something to keep the, uh, the, the moisture in the ground from coming up into the, uh, the the workshop don't really care oh, there's a there's a couple of rough spots there I don't really care about that so much um, 
I don't really care that it doesn't go all the way to the edge. In fact, I want it to not go all the way to the edge because then if it does, it might actually uh, grab moisture from, from out here and bring it in. I think, looking around, yeah, I think we are ready to go ahead and put those, uh, those pallet top floors on. Awesome.